Hi, I'm Heather Weber, author of Midnight at the Blackbird Cafe. A few years ago, I was gifted this recipe box that used to belong to my husband's great-grandmother, Nana Helen. In it is a treasure trove of recipes. One of her recipes that we love in my family is her recipe for coconut cream pie. I've modified it over the years a little bit, and I'm going to share that recipe with you guys today. So here are some of my ingredients. In this bowl, we have half a cup of sugar, half a cup of flour, and a quarter teaspoon of salt that I whisk together. In this bowl are two beaten eggs that we'll be using later to add to our filling. Over here, we have two cups of milk that we're heating on low. We want this to have a full head of steam, but we don't want it to boil quite yet. I have a nine inch pie crust that I've already made this morning and pre-baked ready to go. I made this from scratch, but you can absolutely go buy one from the store, whatever is easiest for you. I have a quarter cup of toasted coconut in this little bowl. To make the co toasted coconut, you preheat your oven to 325, spread out the coconut on a piece of parchment paper on a baking sheet, and then just roast it for about five minutes. In this bowl, I have three quarters cup of coconut ready to add into our filling when it's time and also I have my vanilla ready. There's a nice head of steam coming out of this pot now. I don't know if you can see it on camera but I can see it here in the kitchen. I want to add this really slowly and whisk as you go and doing it this way will prevent any lumps from forming in your filling. You can see it's already pretty thick as is, but it's actually going to take up to 15 minutes for it to get completely thick. What we want is for this to stick to the, to the whisk and for it to mound in the pot. It's just going to take time and you have to keep stirring it constantly. What we want to see is it bubbling just a little bit because we need the flour to get to a boiling point in order for the pie to set properly. The reason why this takes so long is because you're cooking on really low heat and it's just low and slow the whole way and it's starting to bubble so I'm going to let it cook for about one to two more minutes and then we're going to temper our eggs and add them in. Okay this is nice and thick now. You can see it clings to the whisk and when you mound it, it stays. So now I'm going to temper the eggs and you can do this by taking a quarter cup measuring cup and scooping some out and adding it to your eggs. But I just like to use my whisk. So I'm just going to eyeball it and add them in. And you just add them and whisk really quickly. And basically we're just bringing the eggs up to a warmer temperature so that when we add them to the filling, they don't scramble. And that should be pretty good. So now we're going to slowly add the eggs, whisking constantly. Most cream pie recipes call for just using egg yolks. The coconut cream pie is a little bit different, at least my recipe for it is, in that it calls for the whole egg. And I think this is because it gives you a lighter colored pie. Once the eggs are incorporated, we're gonna cook this for another couple of minutes so that the eggs get cooked. It's been a few minutes, so now I'm gonna pull this off the heat and we're gonna add the coconut and the vanilla. It's half a teaspoon of vanilla. and three quarters cups of coconut. You can add more if you like more or less if you like less. And then just mix it well. After it's all mixed, we're gonna let it cool in the pot for about 10 minutes. This has been cooling for a little while, so we're going to transfer it into our pie shell. 
And you basically just scoop it on there and spread it out. We're going to chill this in the fridge for at least three hours, if not longer. And when it's ready to cut, we'll top it with whipped cream and toasted coconut. Before it goes in the fridge, we need to cover it with plastic wrap. And this is gonna look really weird, but it's necessary to keep a skin from forming on your filling. You lay it on your pie and you press down on the filling. And then we'll put it in the fridge. Okay, it's been about three hours, a little over three hours. Just took this out of the fridge. We're gonna see how it cuts. I think Nana Helen would be proud. Thanks so much for watching today and I hope you enjoy the recipe.